And we're live. Welcome to the 25th Sprint Review for the Common Stack. Uh, we do this every two weeks to tell you what's going on, keep the trusted seat up to date. And there's a lot going on this week, so let's just dive straight into it. And I will share my screen. First off, of course, it's the budget. It's a budget week. So uh, there we have uh, two budgets. We have the association, which is our formal legal entity that the trusted seed pays membership dues to. We actually will be running out of money next month. So we have enough uh, to pay the salaries for November, but uh, I, actually it's not a bad strategy just to be at the end of the year out of money. So that's working out uh, swimmingly. Uh, but of course, the community still has some funding. We have about 150K, 148K sitting in the community budget, uh, which should keep us alive until September 2022, given the rates that we're at. Uh, so, and uh, as far as other things that are happening, we have a Layer Zero podcast that I was in uh, that's getting a lot of uh, reviews. Uh, mostly it's about me, honestly. I only got to squeeze in all the good shills at the end, uh, but hopefully the last 10, 10 15 minutes will, will uh, uh, be interesting to people. Uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun podcast and it seems to be getting a lot of reach. Uh, also, we have, oops, that's the same one. Uh, also, of course, we have the dashboard is out. Uh, we're, we're ready. Uh, it's time for Param Parties, Our Economy, Our Choice. So uh, this is, of course, uh, the white label version is going to come after we build this for the TEC. The, the Common Stacks built this dashboard so that many communities can use it and start their own collaborative economics process. So, uh, but it's really cool. You can dive in and you can just, you can choose the opening price for the TEC token. You can choose the, how the bonding curve is designed. Uh, you can design the conviction voting setup. It was really cool because uh, every conviction voting setup that has existed before has kind of missed some of the like really benefits of conviction voting. But Nate, uh, who works with the common stack and is a geologist by trade, designed a really fantastic system with conviction growth that seems un unrealistic of 45 days, but it gives a great design. And this is why we it's not just token engineers doing token engineering. This is a nascent field that anyone can participate. Even if your trade is geology, uh, you can ha make an impact on, uh, on the designs of these systems. So jump in and, uh, and don't be shy. Bring, bring in some novel ideas. And, uh, and we have these parties all the time. There's so many pram parties. We, we do this, we, we're doing collaborative economics in a fun way with parties. So come on uh, and we put on music, we show you how to use the dashboard, and then uh, you get to present your, your uh, parameters to everyone. So we will have mostly parties this week and next week, and you can see how many are on the calendar and there'll be even more. Uh, definitely click the link in this, in this thing to add this calendar to your, to your uh, Google calendar and you can see when the pram parties are always happening. Uh, and once we're done with the parties, uh, well, there'll be parties the entire time, but uh, eventually soon there'll, uh, for the last week, there'll actually be debates where it's less of a design process and more of a, hey, it's time to get serious which parameter uh, choices do we want as a community, let's debate. And so you'll bring, be able to bring your uh, parameterization, your configuration and say, hey, this is why I think it's great. And then you will be challenged actually uh, by the community on whether or not it's good or not. And we will be doing a lot of that the last week. We expect to choose the final uh, parameter set by November 23rd, and you'll want at least a week of playing with this uh, thing and, and time to sit on it for it to really work. So I would try to get started with param parties as soon as you can. And with that, I'll pass it to Olivia, who's in the airport about to fly. Uh, so uh, let's, let's pass it to you, Olivia, to take it and tell us what you're up to this week. Thank you. Yeah, I'm coming to Costa Rica. So maybe next call I'll be sharing a screen with Griff. <laughs> and let me just get my screen ready. I'm feeling a little bit like a zombie. I hope I can talk in a way that people understand me. So uh, we have great news on the Reward Systems Research Initiative. We are going in the process with Gnosis. 
in a decision making. So it's a three steps for um, achieving the the grant, the the final the final part. And we passed the second step with unanimous support. So thank you for everyone who supported us. We had ten votes, and then now. Uh, this is going to the funding stream now, and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, NOSIS support too to become a partner in the research initiative. And we only have two days left for applications. So if you want to be a part of this, uh, go sign up. We had, I think, more than 150 signups already. So a lot of people. This is really great. It shows how much uh, people are interested in reward systems. And Christopher is here today and he will chat a little bit more about what we've been doing with Craze and, and SourceCred and the reward systems in the TEC. And moving on to the case studies, uh, we had some progress this week. We have two drafts. Uh, one made by Caro and another made by Nate. So this is the draft Nate is working on. So governance and decision making. And Kelsey is giving the direction for the tone and editing the pieces. So we reached the right audience with uh, everything we're producing. And it's, again, just to bring learnings from the TEC to uh, everyone who wants to build self-governing communities from a cultural perspective. And, and then on the governance side of the TEC, um, the community picked the Snapshot for EMS. So we're using Snapshot as one of our governance pieces of our polycentric governance approach. And uh, we needed to decide what are the parameters for choosing uh, how proposals passed here. So we had some inspiration for, from the hatch params and uh, this post went through advice process. So uh, there was some suggestions of um, having it a little bit different than the hatch. And I made a proposal that you can read more if you, if you click in here, the link will be available in this video. And um, yeah, so basically we have a support required of 88%. This is very high just because it's important to have alignment and cultural decisions. We have three use cases for Snapshot and we are choosing to use quadratic voting and, and quadratic ranked choice voting. Um, in here, there's also a little bit of the strategy for uh, picking for the decision-making process of the commons upgrade. So if you're interested in that, you can also check it out. And finally, uh, I just want to show gravity again, because every week is, is so incredible to see the presentations happening. People who are uh, hosting this sessions are really bringing it, bringing so much knowledge in. This week, we had Mount Manu talking about leadership and it was very enlightening. And it's great to think about these topics and non-hierarchical organizations. And it's kind of buggy, buggy to think about leadership and non-hierarchy, but uh, it's possible. And there are so many things we can develop together. So um, yeah, Gravity is happening every Tuesday after SoftGov call. And there's also a book club happening after the community call on nonviolent communication. That is super great. And another book club happening every Saturday morning on the sovereign individual that it's more friendly for Asia time and early Europe time. So if you're free, definitely check it out. And with that, I'll pass to you, Tim. Cool. Thanks. So I want to say our last retrospective two weeks ago, we had one action item and it was to make our team meetings more friendly for our entire core team, especially Ivy, who hasn't been able to join. So um, this this sprint, this sprint, we did it. <laughs> Look what we did. Uh, Ivy is here with us now, and I'd love to pass to her actually to introduce the. Um, am I sharing? Yeah, cool. Uh, you know, as you've seen every every sprint review, I've been 
um, announcing the name that Ivy has chosen and uh, this week she's gonna do it. Thanks, Sam. So yeah, uh, uh, our sprint name is uh, Cross Pollination. So we're just gonna read it quickly. So transfer pollen from the uh, anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower on a different individual of the same species. So uh, I take this um, uh, as a sprint name because um, this uh, past, uh, the past sprint, we've been uh, hopping onto different communities to share our knowledge uh, with people who have the same mission as ours, like uh, Griff being on Bankless, and we, we've been hosting, we hosted an AMA for uh, Collaborative Economics for TEC. So yeah, that's the, that's why, that's the reason behind this uh, screening. And I pass it back to you, Sam. Cool, thanks for that. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Like, it brings so much joy in my heart. Okay, so um, if you're watching this, you're probably a trusted seed member. And if you're a trusted seed member, you're probably a hatcher in the TEC. So you will be hearing uh, from myself, Eduardo, or Jean, um, because we have been doing a personal hatcher outreach campaign to invite everyone to join in designing our economy. Uh, there is a open letter to all hatchers on the TEC forum, uh, but uh, the TEC also has an initiative to reach out directly to, to every single hatcher. The most important thing that you're going to want to know is, as Griff just shared, how to join the parties. <laughs> the, link, the link to the calendar is in this post, as well as the decision-making process uh, post from Livia. Uh, and then the dates that you want to pay attention to. So uh, this is it. It's time for us to uh, configure the augmented bonding curve, tab voting, and um, conviction voting. Uh, okay, what else have I got? Uh, news from the TEC. Uh, every other week, the TEC has a stewards council, and this stewards council was dedicated to the first ever uh, stewards offboarding. Uh, we've never had an offboarding ceremony before. It was our first one. Uh, some stewards asked to be offboarded because they were no longer active or they had other things that they were focusing on. Some were nominated to be uh, offboarded because they were focusing on other things and were no longer actively stewarding the TC. Uh, Marco and Santi were the two that were able to join us. Um, and the, the, um, the entire ceremony was very sweet, so loving. <laughs> Um, there is a video of it. Uh, if you want to go and take a look, please do uh, watch it. I'm not crying, you're crying. It was really, really touching. Uh, Olivia put together this dedication for each of the stewards and uh, the stewards that were able to join us did have some time to speak and share about uh, what being a steward of the TEC meant to them. And then there was this very first ever uh, TEC steward POAP. <laughs> This is to sort of, uh, you know, designate the old G's of the TEC, uh, the cohort of stewards that started before we were even knew we would be successful. So it's actually really legitimately and literally a badge of honor. Something else that happened in the TEC is um, uh, thanks to Jean, <laughs> this, um, the TEC was submitted for nomination for the optimism retroactive public goods funding, uh, and they did win a spot. So um, it was an experiment that is um, led by Optimism, Carl Florash and the team with a lot of support by Vitaly Buterin. Uh, they wanted to retroactively fund um, public good organizations that have created value. The idea being that it's easier to see the organizations that have created value than to predict which ones will create value. Um, there is here uh, an amazing list of, uh, of organizations that have produced a lot of value, and the TEC did make it uh, here. So everyone is super excited to be on this list of legends, actually. And then another thing from the TEC is uh, there are a, a process that's happening right now. It's a nomination to be on the multi-sig of the uh, laser tag, basically special purpose purposes token pool. The TEC DAO will acquire um, 250 wrapped X die worth of TEC tokens at the initialization of the bonding curve. And uh, that will need to be guarded by a group of multi-sig holders. Uh, it will be a four of seven multi-sig and nomination requirements are the person needs to be available. 
so uh, answer the call to, to execute the multi-sig within 24 hours to be a hatcher, right? So they're part of the trusted seed, they participated in the hatch and they are holding TEC tokens and to accept the nomination. And how the nominations will work is anyone can nominate a complete list of seven people who fit those requirements. And you could do it on this forum post here. And that's it. With that, I'll pass to Jess. Thanks, Tan. So yeah, I guess I, I love cross-pollination because I feel like that resonates with me a lot because I feel like as kind of ecosystem development or partnerships, I'm often kind of looking across the landscape and seeing what's going on. So I will be sharing um, a few things going on uh, in the ecosystem as well. But the main thing that's in my world right now is heading to Miami next week. I was going to visit my family and then got invited to this conference. And Dr. Sarah Mansky, who wrote this uh, Scaling the Global Commons paper with Jeff Emmett, will be there. And we're going to actually be on a panel together with um, our friend and host, Kyle Kemper, who's a big decentralized dance party guy. We're going to be talking all about crypto and commons and bringing um, some of that message here to this conference. Um, and I showed you guys last week, their kind of platform is really, oh, it's not pulling up now. Um, I showed you they have a lot of the event is centered around NFTs. So it's super interesting to see like what's the kind of latest and greatest happening with um, NFT and also our partners at um, Impact NFT Alliance are working with us to on the um, Impact NFT gala and charity auction. So we're going to have a huge charity auction and a party with all kind of uh, crazy Miami celebrities um, selling NFTs for loads of different impact organizations, including the Common Stack as we are a nonprofit. Um, and I just want to say, if you guys want to join me, there's a coupon code for 20% with if you just put Jessica Zartler 20, or I have 10 free tickets actually. And I don't know that many people in Miami. So if anyone happens to be in Miami next week or wants to, you know, go there to hang out, um, hit me up. Apparently I have 10 free tickets. I just found out this morning. Um, so anyway, yeah, if you want to come and sell some NFTs for charity and have a good time, you are welcome to join me. Um, the next thing I want to mention is I can, reached out with a really cool idea to kind of chat, um, on our socials and bring some content about permaculture economics and how these things tie together. So Jeff gave a really great presentation. Um, so I'm working on cutting the video for that. And this uh, slide deck, you can see it's really cool how the permaculture flower actually looks like the crypto economic flower. So we're gonna have some really cool content coming out about that. And then speaking of cross pollination, I thought it'd be a good chance to talk about some really cool news and, and, and actually not just talk about us, but some of our really cool partners doing amazing research in this space. We actually uh, got reached out to by some folks at Holochain. They actually wanna build a common stack on Holochain. So this could take a long time, but this is a pattern you know, that, that a lot of different ecosystems want to employ and we continue to get a lot of interest. Of course, Holochain is a different architecture and our tools right now are on um, Aragon. So we will see, it's just interesting to share that there's a lot of interest um, in different ecosystems across um, the landscape that are interested in using the common stack design pattern um, to build these frameworks for the commons. So that was really cool to start to have some conversations about that. Um, and then I mentioned last sprint review that there was an article in the works, it's out. It's um, introducing a new price discovery mechanism um, automated regression markets. It's kind of going beyond AMMs. So if you're interested in AMMs and reading about new token engineering primitives um, that can have huge impact for carbon credits um, and innovating in energy markets, which is obviously much needed in our world, you can go and read that on the Block Science blog. And also some really cool governance research if you're interested in governance. Um, Livia mentioned a lot of developments for reward systems. If you're interested in the kind of the resilience side or looking at um, how perception uh, and controllability and observability affect um, decision making. There's a really, really cool presentation and talk by um, Dr. Michael Zargum, who's of course our advisor, and Kelsey Nabin, who is also uh, collaborating with us. So that's on Block Science Twitter, and I think we retweeted from Common Stack. So check that out if you're interested in governance. And then um, Tobias, Toby, reached out to us and shared this really great paper on um, collective action and polycentric governance and DAOs. Um, so we will be having a chat with him to 
listen about what he's researching and also share some of our research and maybe get some feedback. So we have some academics reaching out to us and wanting to collaborate, which is really cool um, to cross pollinate actual deployments and research and just facilitate this huge feedback loop for for learning and expanding our knowledge. So that's really exciting. And then um, last mention is uh, Earth State Briefing, our partners over at IGZO. We mentioned before, um, if you have any content that you want to share, they've got these cranking out every week and it's kind of the latest and greatest in Regen Web 3 and they're looking to expand. So if you've got anything cool to share that your project uh, is working on, then let's cross pollinate and reach out to us on the common stack uh, Discord and or Telegram. And with that, I'm going to pass to Maria, who's joining us today. And I am guessing you're feeling better which is awesome, we were really worried. Thank you, Jess. And yeah, uh, I'm here to prove that I survived COVID. I'm still dealing with, with a lot of treatments and, and, and fields and a lot of stuff, but I'm feeling much better. I'm, back, I'm very happy to be back at work. And also I'm very, I want to take the, the chance to appreciate all you guys because everyone was very nice with me while, while I was doing that. <laughs> So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I want to, to say that um, I'm stepping in for the, for the praise onboarding calls uh, for Chris, <laughs> Chris J. Um, so I'll be there in, in a praise onboarding calls uh, for you guys to, to come in and ask some questions to learn more about the praise system and how we, how we, we do it in, in, the, in the common stack and uh, trusted seed. So you're very much welcome. Also, I want to invite you to the community calls. We will be, this month, we will be taking a lot of ideas <laughs> around the call. So if you have um, any suggestions, any, uh, if, if you have an idea to, for engagement, or if you want to share something with us, come to the community calls. We have the um, the office hours calls on Tuesdays and we have the contributors call on, on Thursdays. So we will be here, uh, we will be there with Gina at the Discord channels, uh, voice channels, and you are more than welcome to, to share with us uh, anything that you have to add. Uh, and yeah, with that, <laughs> I don't have much to share because I was sick, but I'm ready to step in for a lot of cool projects and, and improving our community every single day. So I'll pass it to Gina. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Yeah, you're alive. You're here. <laughs> Welcome back. So yeah, we're, we're having such uh, great news today. I'm going to share my screen now. Uh, let me share what I have worked with into and this is this is a mirror board and uh, it is about our onboarding on discord we will still uh, we're still working on the onboarding for newcomers on discord so we have uh, been working in some mirror visualizations and in the audit of our channel and i think this is a great invitation for all people who have arrived in uh, have arrived so far in our discourse, so if you have any idea about how we can improve this journey for you, you can reach me anytime with uh, your suggestions and uh, I will be more than, help, uh, than happy <laughs> uh, to hear your voice. This is more than I think here. So, yeah. And, well, uh, we are so far um, 320 members. That's awesome. <laughs> and we had uh, 27 applicants by the ending of this month. So um, this is also an invitation. If you haven't uh, activated your trusted membership, this is the signal you need to do it right now. Um, claim your swap. That's an important thing. <laughs> so everyone, welcome here. And I pass it to you, Akane. Hi guys, and um, it's been amazing. Uh, I would start by saying this print started with the distribution of uh, Spring 24 review. So make our time to drop into our YouTube channel. There are lots of amazing video contents that will keep you there like 
were ours. And as always, you're welcome to come seek clarification on anything. So please share your thoughts with us here on YouTube. Also remember uh, to check out our Discord channel, uh, reach out on Twitter and LinkedIn. We'd love to hear from you. Now, on this print also, we sent out a happy fourth birthday to Block Side. So, congratulations, guys. And thank you so much for sharing groundbreaking research with the community. We all also, uh, this print created and distributed the AMA event. So, uh, shout out to everyone who turned out for that event. It, it was a success. We appreciate you know, your coming around, sharing your thoughts, and you know, it was good seeing your faces. On this read also, we took out uh, content. We took our content a notch higher and it's rewarding like really big time. So we begin to have these conversations with themed hashtag the commons room. So we get to ask questions like how will Web3 help us realize a more decentralized common based economy? And also we get to uh, have a conversation on if it is possible to implement the augmented bonding curve ABC after the token has been launched. So a lot of you came with your thoughts. Uh, it, it was quite great to interact and hear your thoughts on all of those things. And um, it was quite nice conversations we're having. So if you've been participating, kudos to you. Keep bringing your, your idea. If you've not, you may want to check out hashtag the commons room on our uh, channels. You get to see the conversations and you get to follow these conversations. Now, oh my goodness, we, you all turned up my favorite, favorite, favorite post of this and engagement. <laughs> this uh, sprint was the swag post. Everyone was turning up for the swag party, wearing all the swag. It was great to see all of you, you know, rocking some swag of um, the common stack. So remember, you are part of the community and you make this community work. Now, our LinkedIn post impressions currently stands at 1,800. That's a 64% increase than the last sprint. Last sprint we were like 1,000 or so. Now we are 8,800. That's like huge. So kudos guys, keep bringing that. We appreciate your thoughts and you know, sharing and engaging with us. And during this sprint period on Twitter, we are post made 1,800 impressions per day. That means for uh, the past, this sprint, that's uh, for 10 days, we had uh, 20,600 impressions on Twitter, like over the sprint. So thank you so much for engaging on our content and thank you so much for bring in your energy and remember stay peaceful stay swaggy and engage on all posts come on stack peace and i would pass now to ivy oh sorry to christopher apologies thank you uh let me share my screen here a second So I'm starting with this screen that you all have known and seen if you are part of, of the trusted seed. And uh, I'm going to talk about two things, the trusted seed dashboard and the rewards system. And we have uh, a lot of stuff has been happening in those two projects with, for, for the uh, during the sprint. And uh, so just a, a, a quick look in the back uh, uh, rear view mirror when it comes to the trusted seed dashboard. The trusted seed dashboard, of course, uses as a stepping stone or, or sort of it builds on what you what is the membership uh, the membership dashboard so uh, the trusted seed dashboard is about building a, a tool for the trusted seed to help you find your way within the uh, for, for, for navigate within the trusted seed help you make connections help you navigate the, this universe of information and opportunities and partnerships etc helps you to to interact with the stuff needing interacting with such as the paying you the membership dues um when there are uh, votes uh, you can participate in the panavala community fund etc etc so the trusted seed is uh, dashboard is a tool uh, for uh um, engaging uh, members uh, more deeply and also a tool for onboarding members uh, so what has happened the last uh, during the sprint is that we have moved the the, uh, the wireframes into become more detailed uh, i can just show you the the process leading up uh, to them being <laughs> detailed at this level is a 
uh, has been a, a really a group effort from the whole uh, common stack core team so we started off by by collecting uh, loads of ideas for for all all kinds of yeah like a brain dump uh, for, for the trusted c dashboard and then we have narrowed it down uh, to, to the most requested ideas um, and try to give them some some direction and, and identified like two main goals uh, being uh, onboarding members primarily and and then secondly uh, making the members that are already a part of the trusted seat more more engaged and and so sort of increasing the agency of the whole uh, uh, trusted seed uh, so that has led up to uh, me doing uh, like a first round of really simple uh, wireframes and uh, a second iteration of a little bit more detailed um, wireframes. And uh, during this sprint, Marco and Rodri have been uh, doing uh, uh, graphical designs for this. So uh, I'm super happy to be able to show you uh, a first glimpse of, of that. And before I move, move to that, the, just wanted to say like two words about uh, uh, the in sort of the instructions or, or the the input they have we have given them is, is that the not only is is it the design for the trusted seed dashboard it's all, also a graphical identity for the trusted seed because going forward the trusted seed will need to be able to to speak with a voice of its own and communicate directly to its members and, and on social media etc and, and for doing that we need a, a logo and, and something uh, uh, some sort of branding um, but the, the the input to to designers were, were that we wanted to be distinct from the common stack but still a clear link it, it takes it starts in the common stack and it should look like the common stack still but but distinct uh, focusing on the seed part we wanted to have a feeling of uh, the, the seed that that, that, that growth grows and, and thrives um and, and that be the trusted seed we help communities to to grow and and thrive so sort of that's a signal that we are doing it together we want it to be maybe a little lighter than the, the current uh, common stack uh, branding uh we would like <laughs> maybe to borrow some inspiration from the solar punk movement um and uh, keep our connection to soil and sun and, and earth sort of um and also signals a little bit of exclusive exclusivity uh, let me move on to the uh to the sneak peek so this looks very much as the uh, common stack logo which it is uh and let me zoom out here and um so this, uh, they have been doing some some uh, mood board and uh, inspirational work and, and trying to uh, find a, a, a path forward, um, starting with the, the, the Comma Stack logo. So these are all uh, not uh, design proposals from Marco, but, but external uh, examples of, of logos. Uh, seed growth, throughout, you see, they have used our, the, the keywords we, we gave them. And, um, a human bridge between the people who know how to solve problems. Yeah, the blockchain world. Yeah, that's that sounds great. And uh, then further down here, uh, I know you're all keen on seeing the actual uh, <laughs> designs. These are uh, Rodri's uh, sketches. And it seems like Marco and Rodri, they are quite fond of this one. And even further down here, we need, we start to see actual designs. So there are two um, uh, two proposed designs, and and I just want to be clear that the, this is a work in progress. There will be changes. There, the uh, uh, Rodri and Marco have asked for feedback uh, from 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 the team. Um, yeah. So these are not the final designs, uh, but uh, I think they look. I, I think they look really great. Both, I must say. Trusted seed. Yeah, two different designs are using some different um, inspirations. And uh, not only that, they have also been working on the um, um, wireframes for the actual uh, dashboard. So taking my, my uh, simple wireframes and moving them into something that actually looks like a thing. Um, and this looks... Uh, absolutely awesome i think 
uh, your the, the dashboard finding so, some uh, relevant information at the top uh, critical information about your membership second some statistics about the CSTK token and your your CSTK score your membership activation status uh, some uh, highlights of, of uh, trusted seed members linking to them maybe showcasing uh, individual members with a, a youtube clip or tw tweet uh, or, or article or whatever uh, financial transparency uh, being able to track your do uh, track donations and, and the membership dues and association funds uh, with the help of giveth trace um, being able to to claim uh pull up badges when there are such and, and being able to claim free swag when when you have cs love uh, tokens um great work by marco and um, uh, rodri so moving on to the next thing I, I would like to talk about which is the uh the rewards uh, the tec rewards system uh, upgrade so the the uh, the commons upgrade is right just around the corner and uh, uh, when uh, the tec has been upgraded to a commons uh, the tec needs to do a, a praise quantification and um, to uh, complete this rewards system process basically not not only the praise quantification but also to activate the source cred um and so much has been happening the, during this sprint for the uh, reward system upgrade we, we are for uh, the tc is forming the rewards committee uh, so uh, Livia and, and Matteo is, is looking into forming a, a, a committee of uh, community members that will have the responsibility of, of managing the source cred and praise parameters and also be able, they will also be responsible for uh, requesting funds uh, uh, from the TEC as well as uh, um, doing the actual um, uh, token payouts when the rewards uh, process is done uh, for a, a period. Um, Vi Vi V um, is uh, hard at work uh, uh, creating up uh, creating bots for uh, source cred because the ambition is to uh, be able to stop uh, praising for um, contributions that can instead be automatically automatically quantified. So, for instance, meeting attendance is number one, and then number two is uh, Twitter activity. So, uh, retweeting, mentioning, etc. We hope to be able to create bots that will automatically feed that information into source cred uh, so um, Viva V has been doing great work with that for, for the last sprint uh, we have the praise uh, system so the old uh, praise system the, that is based on, on google spreadsheets and, and human labor uh, will be upgraded to to this open source um, standalone system that initially initially will be used by the tec and then um, further down the line can be used by, by i guess uh, giveth and, and the common stack of course and, and uh, hopefully in the future also for, for any community um, we are hard at work with the developing that system right now uh, we are uh, the back end is maybe like 50 percent done and we have been adding lots of new endpoints uh, the, the last few days the, the data model is set R rudolph um, is doing uh, a great work uh, handling the, the, the back end by, by himself, with, uh, also with some assistance by Nuggen. Uh, when it comes to the front end, uh, I have taken doing, been doing the lead development for, for the front end. Uh, front end. Uh, and now we also have two new, uh, two new contributors that have come in during the, this last sprint. Um, so, so I'm super excited about it, not being alone doing the, the front end. Uh, let me show you a little bit how the front end will look. Uh, you will have um, as a um, praise uh, user or a, a quantifier responsible for quantifying a praise or an administrator. You, you all see the same screen basically because it's some sort of dashboard showing all praise that comes into the system. And then you have a number of screens that will allow you to interact with the praise system. So instead of going into Google spreadsheet, you will go into the, this administrative dashboard that will allow you to add and remove the people from a quantifier pool. It will allow you to, to view quantification periods and start and stop them. And starting a period, uh, stopping a period means that you, the, the quantification can commence after the period has been, been stopped. Um, um, 
you can of course as a user log in to see your your praise statistics how, how much praise have i gotten during this period and, and the, the last period and etc um I can see the quantification summary. How, how was my, the, 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 the praise I received? How was it quantified? It was quantified by more, more than one user and, and the, the different quantifiers, they gave me, gave me different scores and then the final score I get for each uh, praise will be an average of, of um, how the, that, uh, the quantifiers, uh, the score they gave me. And, and finally, the, the, uh, the actual quantification screen where the, the quantifiers go in and see a list of that they have been assigned a number of praise items that they will need to quantify and they select a, a score uh, from a number of set values or they can mark a, a, a praise as a duplicate if it's obviously praising the same thing as a, another praise or they can dismiss it completely if it's obviously not uh, containing any any praise uh, information it's just like a uh, yeah something else uh, and that's it for uh, for the front end and uh, a new um, a new work stream that we have started during this sprint is the second half of the reward system process, which is the allocation, distribution, and analysis steps. So the, the praise system and the source cred system will output a, a bunch of information about uh, quantified praise in, in, when, from the praise system. And uh, from the source cred system, they, it will output basically a token distribution uh, already. But that needs to be compiled. Uh, that there needs to be an opportunity for, for us to, as a community to do manual uh, uh, adjustments at the end. Uh, and we need to calculate the total uh, uh, allocation. And uh, we need to do this uh, distribution. Uh, and afterwards, we need to analyze um, the result, write a small report, and uh, um, archive it so that we can move back and, and see it afterwards. So we have that uh, traceability and, and transparency and, and stuff that we maybe have been missing uh, uh, previously. So um, uh, MS uh, uh, together with Nagan uh, and hope with support of Octopus and I hope also YGG uh, will we'll move that track uh, forward and most likely it will be packaged into some sort of a fancy Python Jupyter notebook thing that you can open up and see this uh, information all packaged in a in a, a nice fashion something like this you have the uh, praise input information you have the source cred input information then you have some the, the token distribution and some graphs and, and and nice cool algorithms and then you have the analysis tab where you can see the the, the kind of yeah analysis we as a community choose to do and i think i've spoken enough for now <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'll pass it back to Tan. Or should hey. I pass it on to someone? I, I lost track. Yeah. Ivy, is it going to you now? Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, um, this is my first, uh, this is the first sprint review that, uh, that I will be present. So uh, yeah, and I'm so happy to be here and I want to thank the whole team for uh, moving the schedule so I could uh, finally join. Um, yeah, so um, uh, basically, uh, my, I've been doing uh, recurring tasks um, every sprint. So um, I've been monitoring uh, the swag shops and uh, making sure that uh, the orders go through. And I've been also helping uh, with the Twitter, scheduling the call announcements on Twitter, dishing praise for Twitter engagement every Friday, and um, all other administrative work. And then on the TEC side, um, the TEC needs uh, more legal experts. So uh, they're uh, calling for help for uh, volunteers. Uh, and if you know anyone interested to hang out with uh, the TEC and talk about uh, legal stuff in DAO, so please send them to me or to anyone from the team. And uh, yeah, and I've also supported the, uh, the past sprint, I've supported the announcement of par uh, param parties on Twitter. So um, yeah, we'll be adding the uh, link to the calendar and uh, yeah, watch out for more uh, party announcements on uh, TC Twitter and uh, join if you can. And uh, speaking of Twitter, so uh, this will be the last sprint that I'll be uh, supporting uh, TC on their uh, Twitter page so I can uh, focus more on uh, transparency working group. And um, I'm also transitioning to a new role at Common Stack. 
So um, starting next sprint, I'll be uh, leading and coordinating uh, the communications initiatives at Common Stack. And um, we'd like to announce that the new schedule for our weekly comms meeting is every, uh, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. CT. So um, in the next sprint, I will be uh, giving more updates uh, related to comms. So yeah, that's all from me and I pass it, to, I pass it back to Griff. Sure. Wow. So much praise to Dish this round. You guys are going to have to be patient with me, okay? Uh, so we've got to praise, of course, Rochelle for helping to make the budgets every week and uh, and make it so easy to digest. And to Coach B for being a great president of the association and telling us exactly what we need to do for the budgets for our legal requirements. David Hoffman, of course, for inviting me to do Bankless interview that got so much reach. Major praise to Mitch and Chewy for supporting the calendar and the Prams Party organizations. And praise Pedro, Vitor, Fabio, Mitch, Marco, Pe uh, Nuggin, Mount Manu, Lo and Lauren for making the dashboard what it is today. Uh, praise Angela for all the work that she does on the Token Academy. Oh, by the way, this is because we are taking all the credit for so much work that is done by this community, but we're just like a few people here on this call, but it's like an army. It's an army. So I got to tell you about the army that is making all this magic happen. Uh, like Angela, who's a great general for the t token engineering space in general. And she does the token academy and all the governance research uh, and pushing forward the reward system. Also James Waugh and Eugene and Renzo for uh, all the work in the governance. Carol and Nate for their great work on the on the TUC case studies. But, and of course, Eduardo for the great Communitas work, making all the efforts to reach out to the hatchers. Praise to Santi, Marco, Craig, Katie, and Sam for all the great work that they've done as stewards in the past and being and, and uh, jumping into the first offboarding adventure uh, in the TEC and in any commons in general. Acid Laser for making the great design for the POAP, uh, for the, the 2021 steward POAP. Uh, Jean, Ashley, and Lauren for helping the TEC and Giveth get on the retroactive funding list. And Carl and Vitalik and Jean and uh, all, the, all the Optimism team for pushing this idea of retroactive funding. It's a great movement. Uh, praise Mitch for being an all-star quarterback on the initial buy-in and multi-sig nomination process. I want to praise Do Dr. Sarah Mansky for building such an epic social impact event that bridges the metaverse and the Floridaverse and bringing, uh, bringing the common stack out there. Uh, Brown, uh, of course, major praise to Brown to Pink, Justice, Adam Gross, and Sarah Harrell for making NFT art pieces for us to uh, auction off in that event. Also, of course, praising Zargum, Matt Stevenson, Jamshid, and David Simpson for their work researching liquidity markets uh, for semi-fungible tokens, like NFTs of a series. That'll be really interesting, uh, especially in the use case of energy credits. Uh, major praise, of course, to Jeff for getting the conversation going on the Holochain Commons and his work uh, for permaculture economics. Praise Sean and Matilda from IXO for their amazing work pushing forward to the crypto social impact space with their Earth, Earth State, Earth State of, um, platform. Mount Manu and Zero for helping quantify praise for five hours of quanti quantification. It was epic last night. Uh, and of course, major praise to Dan for the continued advice on the Trusted Seed and the recruitment work that he's been doing for us, which is super cool. Also, major praise to Chris J for making it to Bordeaux to hang out with Tam and for hacking on the swag shop, along with Marco, uh, who have helped Ivy, Christopher, and Tam get our swag shop back up and running. Got to get that swag to you guys. Uh, and also, always major praise to Vive IV for being our local Discord expert and uh, all the other things that he does on this on on in the Common Stack ecosystem. Uh, major praise to Mitch, Vitor, and Marco for showing off the dashboard during our AMA and being the stars of the show. Uh, praise to Amin, Spanet, Merlin, and Pavle for the membership DAP work that got us get, that was the initial seed of the Trusted Seed dashboard. And now uh, Marco and Rodri for their great design work to uh, build Trusted Seed branding and, and a revival of that dashboard. Uh, of course, so much work is going into the reward system from Rudolph, 5IV, Nuggin, MS, YGG, Octopus, Mateo, Grael, Hurade, and Marco. Uh, there's, there's a, it's, a, it's a team over there, a great team making the rewards system that for all future commons. And uh, major praise to Mount Manu for connecting us to Lisa Tan. And also a huge shout out to Lisa Tan for showing us, uh, for giving us a highlight on uh, the economics of public goods from the common stack, a nice 10 minute segment that you can check out 
uh, to see the deep dive into how we do, uh, how we're using economics to fund public goods. Uh, oh, and I got a few more. Uh, praise Santi and Sean for their great work in the TC Legal Working Group, uh, and Mitch and Lauren and Nuggin and Wonka and Zepti for leading all the great Prams calls, which you don't want to miss. Go to the Prams parties and, and uh, learn how to be, it's a live token engineering educational opportunity where you'll get to actually design a $1.5 million economy and you could pick the parameters. So definitely jump in and be a part of that. And thank you so much for listening to this review call. It was extra long. We had so much to share, uh, but it was, uh, I hope it was worth it. And we'll, we will see you again in two weeks.